guys, so happy to have you with me for this video. This is going to be kind of a review tutorial in one. I'm going to be talking about um, a new palette that I believe is a holiday palette. It's been identified as a holiday palette on the Balms website. I just haven't gotten any official like, hey, here's the big rollout of the Balms holiday palette. It just seems to have kind of crept out there. I actually ordered mine off of the Kohl's website. I was just randomly looking at Kohl's.com because I wanted to see if my local Kohl's was even carrying the balm stuff yet because I think right when the balm came to Kohl's stores it wasn't everywhere but I was trying to get on there and see and you can actually see like product by product what's being carried in your local store and so I was like yay they do have some things so I had gotten like the little the uh, Luminizer Sisters trio there. I was able to find that in my store, but this I needed to order online. So I got it online. It was just under $40. It's called In the Balm of Your Hand. I'm pretty dang pumped about this thing. What they have called this is The Greatest Hits Volume 1. So as you look at the outside, you can see all of these familiar, you know, packaging designs that are on some of your favorite products from the balm, and you open it up and here's what they've done. They've given you some actual products that are iconic um, shades from their line in blush, in eyeshadow, in a cream blush lip cheek thing and a lipstick here. And I absolutely love that they've done this. And I'm seeing Hot Mama and the Instain Blush in Argyle, Cabana Boy, um, Mary Luminizer and all these things. And I'm like, I use these things over and over again for years. You know, you guys have been seeing me use these different shades in tutorials and things like that. And I just think it's awesome that they're really capitalizing on some of the iconic shades in their line and just lumping it into one super cool palette. I think if you are someone who has hardly tried anything from the balm, this would be an amazing place to start because you would get to sample so much. But if you're like me and you literally already own every individual shade in, you know, its original palette that it came in, or just, you know, the singles of the different blushes, I'm still super pumped to have this because I think it's awesome to have these in one. And I really do like um, the configuration of eyeshadows that they put in here as well. And it's just fun to have this for travel, to be able to bounce around between the different shades. I would say this is about the size of um, like one of the Nude Tude or Nude Dude palettes. So it's super, super streamlined, but they fit a lot in. And I don't think they've made it too skimpy with the face products to like dip a brush in there. All of the round things seem very similar to the original size of like the shadows that would be in the Shady Lady palettes. So let me just take you through first off each individual thing. You've got Hot Mama, which is a blush, and a lot of their blushes outside of the In Stain line are marketed as blushes slash eye shadows so could totally be an eyeshadow as well. Gorgeous, sunny, golden, peachy type shade. You've got an instain blush in Argyle. What's really special about these blushes, they're matte, um, but they've got amazing staying power. They really adhere to the skin. Argyle is probably one of the most universally wearable shades. It's a really classic pink. They've also thrown in Cabana Boy, which is one of their longtime blushes. Um, it's a really pretty plum with kind of a satin finish there. And then you've got a matte bronzer in Bahama Mama. That is a very dark bronzer. So I really think if somebody gets their hands on this palette and maybe you're a little bit deeper skin tone, I still think you'll totally be able to take advantage of the face colors in here. Down here on the eyeshadows, you're getting Insane Jane from Shady Lady Volume 2, and that's a very um, shimmery, silvery taupe. From the special edition Shady Lady, they've given you Mischievous Marissa. Love this shade. Um, either of these first two are great one shadow looks. Mischievous Marissa is like a really gorgeous rose gold. They've got Sexy from the Nude Tude palette, so that's your matte, really deep plum. Led Zeppelin from Balm Jovi. That's going to be your olive green with a little bit of shimmer to it. And then, of course, Mary Luminizer is down here, and that can be your highlight. That can be an eyeshadow, uh, but classic champagne, super glowy. So with all of the products from the Balm, quality-wise, I've always felt like it's a little goes a long way type brand. You do not need to go scrubbing your brush into the products to pick up, you know, a certain amount of color to make it show up on your eyes. Let's say it's just very user-friendly. 
separately. Did I say there's a mirror up here? Because I love that. Then, separate flap for the cream products. Love that consideration. And they've given you um, one of the cheek and lip creams from the How About Them Apples palette, and that is the shade called um, Caramel. And then also Mia Moore, which is one of their Balm Girls lipsticks. And that is a classic um, cool toned red. That's the shade I'm wearing throughout the video. Different formulas here. This one almost has a little bit of like a cream to powder type feel. The How About Them Apples blushes. It's kind of like if you rub them between your fingers, you can feel the product just drying a little bit. So it can be great on the cheeks or on the lips. I wore it yesterday as a lip color and it was just very neutral and easy. And then the red is like your super glammed up shade. The interesting thing about just overall sizing here, I mean, I know the cheek colors, you know, have been downsized some, but still they're so, so pigmented. I don't think anybody's going to be like running out of those anytime soon. Very Luminizer right here has obviously been downsized, but these two shady lady colors, I feel like those are pretty much exactly what the sizing is in the regular Shady Lady palettes. And then on the Nude Toot and the Balm Jovi shades, those are actually bigger than what they were um, in their original palettes. But you've got so many options on the cheeks and on the eyes. I would almost classify this whole chunk of shades as like fun neutrals. My favorite combo has probably been taking these two together. Um, the Rose Gold and the Dark Plum looks really beautiful. And don't forget, you know, use Bahama Mama in the crease. That's a great matte, just standard kind of crease shade, and you could use Cabana Boy as a shadow as well, Hot Mama, very eyeshadow friendly shade. But something that I really wanted to address in this video, because I know a lot of people question when um, iconic products from a brand's regular line are somehow thrown into a palette, did they change the quality? Is it something different? So I did swatch after swatch, really comparing every original product to everything in here. And everything in this palette seemed to be dead on with the original products with one exception. So, I mean, quality wise, the textures, the pigmentation, um, just the overall feel of the shadows. I was like, yep, that's a product from the balm as I was swatching one right after the other. But um, the one thing I would point out is Led Zeppelin, the shade that's coming from the Balm Jovi palette. This has a lot more sparkle to it in that palette. And here, I mean, if you look really closely, you can definitely see some shimmer and it's got like that little bit of a metallic edge to it, um, this olive green, but it absolutely has less sparkle in this palette than it did in the other. Some people might not be happy that the original changed. Other people might be like, um, less sparkly fallout. Heck yeah. But ugh, this is just a killer palette. I want to show you guys how I used it today. I started with my foundation, my concealer, and my brows done, and a little bit of powder as well. And then I just jumped in with Bahama Mama. I used that with my e.l.f. complexion brush. Just uh, stuck that right there in the cheekbones, around the hairline, um, very lightly, very, very lightly with that shade. And then I chose to put on my Mary Luminizer before the blush. I love this effect. Get a little bit of the shimmery, glowy highlight on the cheeks. And then I took the matte blush in here, which is the Instain blush in Argyle. And I went over top of that. And I just think it's a really pretty fresh effect. Then I went ahead and did my lip because I knew it was going to be a strong lip. I wanted to use the red today. So I just did that first and somehow how that kind of helps me set the stage for the eye look. So then I primed my lids and I um, used Bahama Mama in the crease just to add a little matte neutral depth in there. I also used Mary Luminizer under the brow as my highlighter. And then I used Insane Jane from Shady Lady Volume 2. I put that all over the lid for that pretty taupey gray. And I used Led Zeppelin, the olive green, just in the outer corner. It kind of merged everything together somehow from the crease to the lid. And I just thought that was really pretty. Just kind of finished the look with some winged liner, very simple. Curled the lashes, applied mascara, and boom, all done. This time of year, I've got a real weakness for things that are cute, well thought out and great quality. And that's everything this is. So this is one of the best palettes the Balm has put out in, I feel like, a couple years. So I'm so excited for it. So glad I got it. Again, um, I got mine at Kohl's. You may want to check either Kohl's website or thebalm.com. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.